And hello everybody, welcome back. What we're looking here in the Arctic is not one of our ships. It is actually Princess Ching that is sailing here and is most likely going to settle on one of the islands now. So now that we've finished the main story, the AIs are flooding into the Arctic. I don't know why they didn't do it earlier, but now she's coming in here too, like in a new world. We also got a quest here. She wants us to refine, uh, find the remains of the HMS Angry Wrath, and we do get some lost expedition I scraps for that. Because now we have also opened up God. more quests with the, the finishing of the main the quest. That is, we have also heart. opened up now the um, search missions that we can find now up here in the high north. And of course, we can now build on the plateaus. That's what I'm doing right away. There we have a bit of timber. And steel beams and bricks. Right, Joe? And let's get up there before someone else Light does. Off we go. We have another airship being in construction right now. So this one here. And this one will hopefully finish soon. So we can then do the quests and the settling on these things. And one thing that I still need to check is Only all about the goose feathers now and the seal skins. Let's just check our production chains. As we can see, we got the first bear fur now in. The seal skins, goose feathers, not that many, but still we have a few of them. So I think it's finally time to also finish our productions here. And I've kind of like planned for two of the sleeping bag factories. As we can see, uh, workforce wise, we don't have that much anyway. So two of them and we will be able to afford two of these Parker factories. That's actually technicians they require for this one already. Let's build two of them here. Let's build them. There they are, and thus we have a bit of an advanced industry now in the Arctic, out I here, and they're now getting those thingies over there for our people. So hopefully we see less Arctic flu, and there we have it, the sleeping bags and the parkas for the heating, so this should help them there a bit. Um, they also still want a bit of canned food and a bit of the husky sleds. Husky sleds we can make. Um, canned food is going to take a bit more time there, I think. I would love to upgrade a few more of these guys, but unfortunately, ah, Explorer Workforce is rather low. The Do newspaper, who has actually got nothing really? to say. Perceive Astounding it, flying machine. Long-eared contraption comes spectacularly down to earth. And it's a, you know, neutral newspaper. Very, very strange. I'm going with the minus consumption and a bit of happiness. So we still have a bit of influence left over and for propaganda quests, nope. Not doing that. Journalism. Anything else we should care about here? Nope, we the don't. All I care about is now finally settling in the Arctic Plateau. Let's just check this one. We should have this a bit more to the center, I think. So I think we can still get over here. Yeah, this is looking better. Let's build it. Such a pity you do not and boom, Alpine it is actually called. Very good. In Alpine, we now have our first trading post. Oh, look at that. Princess Ching is asking for permission settling on Tenzing Island. This island is the earthly twin of Tian, the mighty heaven. There she is now too, Princess Ching. Also, as we can see, Hugo Mercier is also coming. Yep, he will be settling on this island, I guess. And let the war begin. There's also another big island still available. A um, a I settlement. could. Could I still settle on this one? Ah, doesn't matter. We have the islands that we need. Right. I rather focus on the trading post. Let's upgrade this one right away so it can house more goods. And yes, I actually need to get the item for the airship onto the airship so that we can speed it up. All right, up here on the plateau, we do have a few things to do. First of all, it is really freezingly cold out here. I mean, the view is nice though. That we have. And one thing that we need to do here now is getting us a village up. And the problem here is um, that we can't produce anything on ourselves, right? So everything we do up here actually needs to be brought up here. And the gas, we can find this here, the gas mine. There it is. It actually requires 250 engineers. So before we can use these gas mines, we do need to get 250 engineers up here. Now this is a problem in itself, as you might guess. Oh, and Hugo also settled now. Hello, Hugo. Airship. Uh, we do have that item there for the airships. There it is. And I will take the... I will take the artifact here to my museum now in Crown Falls. We can use it there. And the airship is equipping this item there. Very good. So it's a bit faster now. Let's take a bit more of that. And 
I think... Oh, the second airship has been finished. Another one is coming up. We can use them for trade routes then if we want to. And this one here is now going to deliver some goods up there to the plateau. Right? And this is going to be a bit of a tricky one. It's very close. So sooner or later it will deplete Skuld anyway. Doesn't matter what we do. So I hope we can negate at least the coal with our tourism ship there. So let's get started on that. Let's create a new trade route. And it's going from Skuld to Alpine. And in Skuld, it's going to take... Hmm, let's see. It's going to take coal, timber. How much space does the airship have? Four, I think. Four slots it was, right? Um, then no timber. The building resources I'm getting there myself. Um, it's all about the consumption stuff that we need in order to advance to the next era. So the pemmican and the oil lamp. And for warmth, we should also have a bit of schnapps. And all of that is getting up there now. And the airship HMS Solo is on this route now. Right? So it's a permanent trade route going up there. Just looking really, really cool there. This airship with the cat. <laughs> And as we can see, it's loading everything onto it. Of course, it will deplete now the resources um, in um, Skuld. What we can do about this is, well, we can basically say we have a minimum stock. At the moment, we have 100. Yep, just don't drop below 100. Right, so that's the minimum stock that we have for oil lamp, pemmican, and stuff like that. Schnapps should also not be below 100. We have a trade route, a very active trade route. Um, that brings in new goods, but we do need a little bit of a buffer there um, as well. A and, oh! Miss Hunt is also now in the Arctic. Ship under attack. Gosh, I hate her face. And for coal, we say the same thing. Though for coal, I don't think we're going to ever reach it that low. Right. Cargo stations. And then we can finally start building up here. We do still have a second airship. This one. And this one is still going to get some timber and steel beams onto the plateau. Up here. And yes, below Miss Hunt settled here, we need to be a bit careful about our waypoints, right? We should not get too close to that island there. Especially, especially the trade route, this one here, that actually passes through her, right? So we can make it like this. And we should, because her harbor is, I think, down here. So even if we go around this area there, we might still go into contact with that island. We don't want that. So this is better, so that we more or less sail through the Arctic Ocean there before we do anything. Both airships have arrived. One with the normal stuff, the consumer goods, and the other one with the building materials. Under attack. So let's get building. Um, first of all, this is our warehouse. So we should start with having, well, a bit of heating. The coal we have, right? Ship Let's have the heater. Attack. Wait a second. Let's build the houses first. Those guys. And here I would like to have a few more. Yeah. And as we can see, this is working for all of them. It has to be here because it gets the coal from this place there. And of course, we also do need a canteen. Let's build it actually so I can see where it's going. We can see that on the pipes. So the canteen. Mm, the canteen we have rather here. And the ranger station. Also requires some heating there. Right, and around this one we can now have some additional houses. Alright, we get another quest. We have two quests now up for the expeditions. And off you go. I could watch them all day, these airships, when they arrive and they dock and stuff like that. And there we have another one. I wonder if we can go all the way over here with the heating. At least here we can squeeze in one more building. And here a few more. Ah, very good. There we have plenty of, of pipes then. Unfortunately, not those two. There will be a new heater, though, then. And here, we can still have a few more. Right, so it's all about efficiency in the on the Arctic Plateau. Here, I can still squeeze in a few more. 
three more there and nope this one is not working anymore up here perhaps yes very good this is looking good here righto so there we got our first settlement up and running the heater is producing let's build the canteen let's build the arctic lodge and well in fact let's build all of them now and thus we got the first explorers coming onto the plateau and a really cool thing is if you want to walk around on this plateau because we can do this of course too and it is cold <laughs> there is not a single tree that would protect you at least they look happy there we have the plateau then with the gas resources that we're going to need then there's the airship hangar or more or less the airship docking space and the cool thing of course is by the cliffs so we have a beautiful view as we can see there's action airship over there old nate's one i guess and we can see all our islands there as well some more plateaus that we could settle on perfect and now we can continue here this one here we don't actually oh actually this one we require then for the additional timber since we get so much coal in i might just i might just <laughs> have a little austrian flag on it let's just go in there again yeah you're right so there we also have a bit of an austrian flag <laughs> red and white that is pretty cool it's a german austrian game after all now let's continue um i still would like to have another district right and from its oh also those ships have arrived especially the one that we need with the artifact for the museum and what i also uh, remember now is that the exhibition has finished its exhibition or the world fair has finished its exhibition let's just see what we get out of it oh sorry for that we should have the artifacts now here and we do get the Valkyrie's helmet for the museum. Oh, this is a pretty powerful one. Looks good. We get the Regal Gold Ring. Another 40%. Oh, that's it. Two items. No problem. Let's use them in the museum. Ship under attack. For all of those, that attractiveness. What of my ships is under attack? Oh, Miss Hunt is ramping up her ships again. I think she might be at peace with the pirate. She that's is. Fine and thus has a bit of time there to build up her fleet again. We have to keep this one in mind because we're still at eternal war with her. Oh, and Alpine has become a camp as well because we got the first people living here, so 200 explorers. They should actually have done almost everything. Yes, the pemmican is coming in and as we can see, the oil lamps are still hidden, so they're still locked. This is something we need to change. Let's build the next heater then. So we got a heater here. Here, I would like to have actually a little a few buildings and then we're going with the heater so that we can use a bit more or utilize a bit more of that space we do need another canteen to work here and the arctic lodge once again hmm where should we have this one arctic lodge arctic lodge let's build the heater first and i mean i have one arctic lodge this should actually be fine for now right i don't think we need more than that and here i'm going to add a few more of these buildings Right, I think this building here has no electricity then. Ah, no heat. No heat, no heat. There we can add a few more. Two more here. And a whole block here. looking good there we can still have a few more and here and i think that's it then ah here we can still squeeze in four more buildings and there also and here perfect let's build all of them once again the canteen and thus we have expanded our camp now here on the plateau and yes, because of the Arctic or of the plateau, we are going to need more of the basic resources, of course, like the pemmican cookhouse. Um, in that case, we do need another whaling station that we can use here because the oil is rather low as well. So let's just blueprint the remaining um, 
stations that we're going to have here then. So there is another one. And yeah, thank the gods. We can actually squeeze in one more here. That's the one. And thus we have all of them. We still need a bit of timber, but timber is coming in anyway. There is also, um, there should be a building resource trade or something like that on the way as well. And oh yes, in King William Island, we're getting a lot of timber. That is something we can do. And as I can see, this warehouse is rather utilized. So let's just upgrade it once more for the, the, the feather farms and all of that. And on the plateau itself, we have a bit more timber again. Let's just get it. And I think, yep, what we can do now is we can upgrade. The schnapps we have too, so they have it actually rather warm with a lot of schnapps. Life is much easier. And then we can upgrade. And while that is happening, we also want to finish those two quests here. So those who came before us, many have tried their luck at exploring the Arctic and almost all have failed. The explorer purposes you to take to the skies in search of proposes in search of the remaining parts, which could be repurposed by old Nate. Right, -o. let's do this one. So there is one. There should be a lost expedition somewhere that we can explore. And then we have another one over here. And while that ship is on its way, our Lord Algernon is also waiting. Perhaps we can find something. The Inuits, by the way, are also selling a lot of good stuff there, I know. Yeah, something for the Sioux. We're going to have a Sioux at some point. 700,000, we can afford that. Um, and if I think about it... Goose farm. No, I don't think we need anything else from ship these uh, production attack. boosts, right? Because I'm not going to expend that much further than the Arctic. And there is still something for the Lodge. Caribou hunting cabin. Nah. Nah, I don't think we need anything else here. I would be very happy about some legendary... There it is. Yeah, very good. Epic item eagleid for the museum that we can use. Always happy about this, boosting our attractiveness. And another cool thing is that we could do, because I know in Africa we also get a lot of artifacts. We make some specialized museums then, right? A small museum for artifacts by the Inuits. A small museum for artifacts from Africa. Um, I think this is something we can do. And yeah, let's stick for it for now. We still have one more slot available. Up here, we should be finding something now. It's right in front of us. There it is. A crate that we can pick up and we do get some scraps out of it. That's it. And then over here we find another thing, hopefully. Meanwhile, I should be able now to upgrade these houses. I am very good, quite a lot of them too. So let's just upgrade all those here surrounding that in the center. And thus, we also got the first technicians on the Arctic Plateau. There we got them now. And that means 300 technicians we already have. And what was it about? How much do we need for it? 250 for one of these gas mines. So we can now finally go with the gas. I still need a bit more timber. And that is something we can find or get from King William Island then right away. There is still another crate. Very good, some scraps and sail to Old Nate's workshop that we have over here. And it's good that we need to go here because there we got the timber that I also want to get. Right, we have another ship here waiting for the timber. Quite a busy town here already in the Arctic. Okay, we found some scratch there. What do you give me for it? Probably some rare and epic items, right? We can transmute, we can craft here something with those scraps that we find. Um, something that boosts mostly, mostly the arctical stuff, like technician cells to have less flu chance, for example. Right, um, down here we have the crop farms, productivity 25%. This is actually something we can also use in the old world. So there we also have some items that we might use then here. Um, we really sent billiard table for the members club. Attractiveness plus five might be something that we can get there. Let's get, however, some timber real quick. Right, um, 105 timber. We do still need a bit of it for the gas that we can now get for or go for. There we got the timber. I think that's it, right? Yes, we don't need anything else, hopefully. 
So this is coming now. Um, I will need a street though. Oh, by the way. What I'm thinking about is right now that they might require some heating. And a warehouse, of course. There we got it. If we, yep, we could turn it in here. And we could turn one in here. Though they only have three slots. This one has four slots. I would like to use the four slots first. And, yeah, requires heating. So we do need to have a road up there. We do need to have a warehouse up here. And then I can place this one right here. And the only thing wh what we need now is the gas pumps, four of them. And of course the heater. Another heater consuming all the Little fish are coal that I have here in the Arctic. Another few buildings here that we can support with that now. And there is the Oh no, that's actually the trader coming in. Still with a lot of coal as we can see. But we are full on coal anyway. And there's the timber. Let's unload it. Warehouse, heater, a few more houses. Very good. And there we got it. The first gas pipes or gas pumps yeah. that we have there now. I mean, I certainly wouldn't wor work here every day. But it's still a nice location there for that. Let's just see. We should be getting now some heat here hopefully soon. This one doesn't work. We are full on coal. Why do you not want... <gasps> it's a gas heater. Look at that. Who would have thought? I did not notice that. It's a gas heater already. So we can also heat of course with gas now. But I want a coal heater. <laughs> Alrighty. Still so much to learn. There's still more to learn. And hopefully we'll see some gas now flowing. Very good. And we are working. The gas mines are working, as we can see. Four of them. Um, I might just upgrade a few more to technicians then. And then we can build a second and third gas pump, if we want to. And now, all I really want here is waiting for a bit of gas so we can build a third airship. And then we're going to have a trade route from the Arctic to Crown Falls with an airship delivering the gas over there. And then we can finally utilize all that gas. So the Arctic for me is more or less finished at this point. It's just about optimization, a bit of expansion there for more gas. And that's it. Now we can finally focus on Africa.